Hi everybody. Caregivers lately have been asking me, I am so isolated. What do I do? How do I not feel so lonely? If you've been reading the papers or any type of research, you know that this crazy pandemic that we're going through has significantly changed lives, your life, my life, everyone's life. About 40% of adults are feeling that way. So what do we do? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. On that website, helpful information for caregivers and aging adults. And in this video post, there is a link to one of my radio shows. You can listen to it or read it. On there is an interview about how to keep our minds and our brains active, especially for our elderly parents who are more isolated now, especially because many of us don't visit, or if they live in an assisted living community, we aren't even allowed to go visit. So how do you know if you're feeling lonely? Well, you might be feeling tired, you might be more irritable than usual, you might be having memories of the past and sad memories of the way life used to be and the way life is today and looking at that gap which can be significant which can feel significant you also might be spending more time on social media because you have more time and you're not getting out as much some people who spend time on social media caregivers will say to me oh i watch all of my friends and they look like they're having such a good time they're going out to restaurants they're going on vacation and i can't do this anymore i used to be able to do it but not anymore so sometimes even watching the things that your friends are doing can make you feel a little more lonely or a little more depressed because those are things that you can't do anymore today at least for now so what do we do about all this? Well, one of the ideas is to find ways for social support. Do you have friends that you can maybe schedule a phone call every week? Can you get on a Zoom meeting or a Skype call and talk to people? We have to be a little more creative these days in finding ways to connect with people to continue social support without necessarily physically being with people. The other thing that you can do just to distract your mind, what about taking out an old fashioned, oh my gosh, piece of paper and a pen and writing a letter to somebody and actually mailing it? What about reading a book, a nonfiction book that takes your mind off into some other world, some other time? Do something creative. If you enjoy crafts or woodworking or working on the yard and it's a warm time of year, get outside and do something that distracts your mind because we can be alone, but that doesn't mean that we have to feel lonely. The other thing is make a phone call, call a friend and make that call not about you, but all about your friend. What's going on with your friend? How can you help them? Is there anything that you can do? If you can also find ways to volunteer these days, which might be a little difficult, but there are actually some groups reaching out to churches and care communities and offering to call the elderly during this coronavirus. Now you may have parents that you may call and talk to, but sometimes it's just not the same. So there are things that we can do so that we can manage being alone, which could be a new normal for a while, and not feel as lonely. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Check out my website, PamelaDWilson.com. Share it with other people. Tomorrow is Wednesday. It is my radio program. On that show, we're going to talk about what do caregivers need most, and I have an interview with John Prince of National Wound Care. We're going to be talking about wounds in the elderly and also why wounds in caregivers may not heal as well. Believe it or not, it's stress and chronic disease. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Have a fabulous day today. I'll see you tomorrow in another video.